Testament prophets that utilize visual images to enhance their music, and they speak to the personal and societal issues of our time. Images from a group named after two Old Testament prophets, Daniel Amos. This California group, led by Terry Taylor, has been on the creative cutting edge for 12 years. Attending one of their concerts is, to say the least, a very unique experience. This river channels out to my private shore. My boat's a magic I wrote down some thoughts watching your concert. Now, these are some images. These are things that you utilize in your concert. I've never seen anyone ever use before, all right? Masks, uh, 3D glasses, uh, utilization of slides. I've seen that before. Smoke, I've seen that. A fan to blow the smoke around. Venetian blind, Venetian blinds, Terry? Come on. <laughs> Comedy and the audience participation. What Daniel Amos is now, I think, is, is just... Um, the mind is sort of like a tape recorder, and I listen to all kinds of music, and I'm, in, I'm inspired by creativity. I, I love people that are, are creative, and I think that is a, a mark of God, although they're, um, they, haven't, uh, they haven't discovered the source of that creativity, and, and, and though they, uh, they may use their music uh, sometimes in destructive ways, I think there's that mark in a human being of creativity, and I'm excited by creativity. And I've always wanted DA to have this ability to paint a lot of different pictures and so I don't think I know what it is I don't mm -hmm. think I quite know what it is I think it's just everything uh, musically um, that has excited me down down through the years um, with with uh, truth as its message Terry himself was apprehended by truth in the person of Jesus Christ a number of years ago. Today, he is speaking to many issues of concern in our society through a series of allegorical albums called the Alarma Chronicles. The message is getting in, it's, it's sinking in, and it, it is having an effect on them, and that's, that's important. Terry Taylor also speaks to more personal areas of human relationships. The mask thing, it brings up the, the whole mask thing and, and uh, what we represent ourselves to be to other people and what we really are. And I think one of the problems that we have in the body of Christ is uh, so many times we try and uh, uh, we don't want to let people that know that we're uh, less than superhuman or that we, um, we have problems in our lives or uh, that we're not always uh, um, uh, on top of everything, that there exists in, in all of us uh, fear and doubt and uh, all those other things that go along with it. This personal vulnerability comes through in a song called Sanctuary. That was uh, written right after my grandfather died. And uh, it was written to myself because it says, uh, uh, when the strong winds become too, far too much, uh, uh, when it all comes crashing in, uh, there is a sanctuary. And uh, you know, you, you talk about how Christ is the center of your life. But until tragedy hits, really, then you know what stuff you're made of.
things that God was there with me. And even seeing him, my grandfather slip away and, and seeing in his eyes uh, the light of heaven, you know, that, uh, that, uh, that, he had, that he was at peace, even though he couldn't express, he couldn't talk. And um, in, in the very last hours that he was alive, I, I held his hand and I sang to him. I sang a song that uh, I'd written when I first came to the Lord. And uh, I could just see, you know, that he that he uh, was at peace. And uh, and so sanctuary is um, is just an assurance to other people that, that will or have experienced uh, tragedy, that, uh, that there is a refuge, there is a place of peace. Terry Taylor is not a hollow man, as he says in one of his songs. Rather, he is a sensitive man who has dared to drop his mask and asks us to take the same risk with him as he continues his travel log to the future. There's nothing I love more than to um, than to come in the studio and uh, and give birth to a, to a new song, you know, uh, and uh, and have fun with it. But it has something that affects lots. It's an incredible responsibility, but it's an incredible privilege as well.